Sniping is an important skill in 7 Days to Die PvP. Making contact with an enemy before they notice you gives you a fleeting advantage, and sniping at a distance is the easiest way to exploit that advantage. The window of opportunity might be only a couple of seconds. In this video, I'm going to be talking about your options for sniping, which guns are available, which mods you should use, and why. First up, let's talk about accuracy spread. Spread is your angle of accuracy at your target, represented on your screen by the area between your crosshairs. With any gun, spread increases if you're standing, moving, running, or jumping. Spread decreases if you're crouching or aiming. When aiming, spread decreases non-linearly. It gets much smaller quickly, and then slowly converges on a minimum. In this first example, let's look at aim spread decreasing while standing and holding a pipe rifle with a 4x scope. I'm aiming at a target square exactly 100 meters away. I've loosely measured the magnified area at 133 pixels between the white of the crosshairs. I've also measured the time it takes from the beginning of the aim animation until the spread stops decreasing at 4.72 seconds. I've taken these measurements three times each and averaged the times together. Almost every test had a slightly different time to aim. These measurements are also taken with no points in any skills. This is pretty slow because the pipe rifle is a low tier weapon and has pretty bad base stats. The stats which are important for measuring spread and aim time are weapon handling, spread degrees, and spread multiplier aiming. There are other stats that might apply, but none of them are changed by existing mods. Higher values for weapon handling are better, and lower values for spread degrees and spread multipliers are better. From the game files, I found that weapon handling gets better for higher tier weapons, with the sniper rifle having the best handling. I've also found that the spread multiplier aiming value gets better for higher tier weapons. Oddly, spread degrees seems to bounce around a little, with the hunting rifle having the best value here. Let's test what this means by comparing the pipe rifle with the other rifles. Same setup as before, this time with the hunting rifle, and the crouched measurement is there on the right for comparison. Standing we have the same spread at 133, but a much faster time of 3.54 seconds to get there. Crouching reduces the spread to 100, with a slightly slower time of 4.11 seconds. Moving on, the lever action rifle. Better spread than the hunting rifle while standing at 124 with a slower time of 4.34 seconds. Same spread as the hunting rifle while crouched at 100, but a much faster time of 3.62 seconds. Finally, the sniper rifle. In the same amount of time it takes to reach 133 spread with the standing hunting rifle, you could either have 117 or 92 spread with the sniper rifle. We can determine from this test that the sniper rifle's better weapon handling and aim multiplier stats outweigh the spread degrees advantage the hunting rifle has. Given that the sniper rifle also has a larger magazine and is a semi-automatic gun, it's clearly the best choice if you can find it. Now, let's compare the 4X to the 8X scope. On paper, the 8X scope is better with a smaller spread multiplier aiming value of negative 0.25. Both of these scopes can show you 4X magnification, so let's compare the 8X zoomed only to 4X magnification. Standing aim time is about the same at 3.55 seconds but with a much smaller spread of 92. Crouched aim time is a little longer at 4.12 seconds, with an impressively small spread of 68. Clearly the advantage here is for the 8x scope. With a quality 6 gun, you're able to select 3 more mods in addition to the scope, and this is where it gets interesting. Every mod you add increases the damage dealt, so you definitely want to fill those mod slots. Each mod has a different effect, and you may have a preference for mods that don't impact aiming spread or speed. For example, you might prefer the magazine extender, there's also mods that have some impact on aiming, but not as much as others. The retractable stock and the muzzle brake being some examples. Those are better for automatic fire. I'm focused on spread and speed for this evaluation, so there are really only four choices for the remaining three slots. The bipod mod provides a lot of weapon handling when aiming, and has a very small spread multiplier aiming value. The downside is that it makes your aim much worse when you're walking or hip firing. The foregrip mod provides a slight bonus to weapon handling when aiming, and a pretty good bonus to spread and multiplier aiming when crouched. In addition, it helps recoil, which helps you recover your aim when you need to fire multiple shots in a row. The laser sight mod provides a pretty good bonus to weapon handling at all times. It also improves hip firing. Finally, the barrel extender mod actually reduces your weapon handling, unless you're aiming, and it has a small bonus to spread multiplier aiming. It makes recoil and walking fire worse. It does improve your effective range though. If we had to choose only one, on paper, the bipod is by far the best mod we can add. Let's see what happens when we just add the bipod to the sniper rifle with the 8x scope. From here on, I'm just comparing crouched values. 
and we'll measure 8x at 8x. Spread has increased to 91 since we're fully zoomed in now, but the aim time has drastically decreased to about 3 seconds. Now let's fill out the remaining slots, this time with the foregrip and the laser sight. Spread has decreased to 76, and the time to aim has also decreased to 2.42 seconds. Let's swap the foregrip for the barrel extender. Spread has decreased again to 60, but the time to aim has increased to 3 seconds because we've lost some weapon handling. This is strictly better than just the bipod, which had a larger spread of 3 seconds. Now, the winning combination. Bipod, foregrip, barrel extender. We reached the smallest spread of 52 at just under 3 seconds. On its face, that's a little better than the previous spread of 60 at 3 seconds. However, the advantage is more clear when measuring the time to match the spread of the other combinations. A spread of 60 is achieved by the foregrip laser combination in 2.41 seconds, but this combination does it in 2 seconds. A spread of 76 is achieved by the barrel extension and laser in 3 seconds, but this combination does it in an impressive 1.81 seconds. Remember, all of these measurements have been with no points in any skills. Let's see what happens when we max out Perception and Deadeye. The same spread of 52 is now achieved in 1.71 seconds, almost twice as fast. I went into this test believing that the quicker resolution times when maximizing weapon handling would be the best combination. But the conclusion here is that the reduced spread combined with non-linear spread reduction when aiming means it's actually better to maximize for spread. So the best combination is max skills, crouching, with a sniper rifle, that has an 8x scope, bipod, foregrip, and barrel extender mods. If you found this information helpful, please click the like button and hit subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks.